here with uh, Fabian Schweigenschlagel and uh, Greg Rodenbaugh, Missouri head coach. Uh, guys, you're kind of a tandem this, this year. Um, Greg, this is your uh, Missouri's first national champion in swimming. Uh, you came from Arizona uh, six years ago with uh, aspirations to uh, put the Tigers on the map. Um, a, how's it gone? And uh, B, the addition of the uh, a uh, Western Kentucky refugee on your uh, on your right seems to uh, be a springboard to some good things. You know, we've been pretty fortunate to get some people in that bought into the program, and and uh, we're pretty we're pretty good ways down the road. And uh, you know, people seeing Mizzou up at the top, and and uh, Fabian did a great job of. I don't know how many other breaststrokers swam the 800 free relay the first night. He's uh, getting a little tired. We're swimming in a lot, but. Uh, that was a pretty courageous swim you swam tonight. How did, how did that feel? You were out only one one hundredth of the second uh, behind the second place guy. Uh, I mean, honestly, I, I knew I went out fast, but I mean, I had to take my chances. It's not, I mean, I cannot be not aggressive and not trying to win it. I mean, I have to be aggressive to try to win it. I know Peter is fast going out, so I knew if I stay with him, if I stay until the 75 next to him, probably could get him. I mean, nobody knows. I mean, I'm, I'm through my race, but if I know I'm next to him, I can beat him. That's, that's basically my I thought at that moment. You seem to hold uh, that last 25 very well. Oh, well, yeah. Uh, it was tough. <laughs> Honestly, it, it was tough. Um, at a turn, I thought, I mean, I think there was so much adrenaline in my, my body at that moment, so I was just thought, okay, bring it back, bring your hands to the wall, and then let's see what's going to happen. I mean, I couldn't predict that. I did my best. Um, it paid off. So, Why? Uh, tell me about the selection of, uh, of Missouri after the Western Kentucky program uh, folded. Uh, there was a lot going on after, after the whole program went down. Um, Missouri was like an uprising program. Um, it was... I mean, they had success with first strokers. I know um, Sam Turney was placed in front of me last year. So, no, they did really well. Really well. I'm very well with that. And I mean, not getting off with Bragg. They did an awesome job developing a program that's upcoming. And I think we showed today and the last couple of days that we could swim with us up there. Well, your coach was a pretty good breast stroker in his day. I don't know if he's told you that or not. <laughs> He told me that many times. <laughs> <laughs> Threatened to race him one time. He didn't take me up on it. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah it's, um, it's fun. I mean, it's challenging. It should be like that. I like that. So, how much did um, just being last year and getting to compete in that final motivate you coming into this season and into this season? Um, yeah, I'm, I knew I was probably the fastest returner, but I mean, the history shot always there will, some, will be someone coming up. It's, it's never be like, I will do it for sure. I mean, first of all, you have to work hard. You have to go to practice every day. You have to work hard, as I said. And at the moment, you have to be ready. It's, I mean, it's not a piece of cake. It's from an end of a, a final. And just the thought, I will win it anyway. So you have to go in there, be aggressive, just do your routine, and swim, race. And what did it mean to win Mizzou's first ever swim? I mean, a lot. I mean, if you saw all those guys' faces, um, it's a huge thing. And I think um, it will it will lift up, his, um, up his, uh, us as a team higher. So it will bring us on the radar of a couple of good recruits, I think. Um, it shows that we compete. <coughs> all the big, big fishes in the pool. So I think it's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs>